Jim McConnell, McConnell Labs, manufacturers of Light Elegance nail products here from Redmond, Oregon at LEHQ. Today we're going to talk about can gels cure under objects like, oh, say, gems, um, sometimes glitters. The answer to the question simply is it's feasible, it's possible, it depends upon your chemist. So uh, when it comes down to something like this, as we know, gels must have good curing with the exposure to light or an energy source. So somewhere between that 350, 365 nanometers up to about 400 nanometers to get that good curing. The key thing here is that what wavelength are you using? What are the photoinitiators you're using? And then also, are you using oligomers or not oligomers? Key thing here is that those oligomers will help in that curing process as well as your wavelength. So if you have, say, a gem, and you embed that gem into the gel so that the gel goes up and around. All right, I'm gonna try and get a little artistic here. Goes up and around the girdle of your gem. It will cure, and the, one of the reasons why is because that gem typically is transparent. So the light will come through that gem, it'll reflect out and then come back down, sometimes out here, and cure that gel, making a polymer. So you get that bond formation. So that's one thing. The other thing is, is if your light is a good light and you happen to have LEDs that cure from the side, so you have exposure coming in from the side here, what you'll wind up with is this will penetrate through the gel and cure up down this way. So you get good penetration on that end. The other thing is, is that sometimes if you use a nice oligomer, Oligomers can help with the transmission of free radicals from the photoinitiator exposure to the energy source, creating that free radical. That free radical could transmit down along some of those oligomers and wrap or cure underneath. So that's one thing. The other thing is that if you have gel and then you put a glitter particle in there that's a big old flat plate, underneath here, you probably won't get any curing. But right here underneath those edges you can get curing so making sure that you put that flat plate of gel on top of a sticky layer is going to be helpful you'll notice that when we do a lot of our glitter gels our glitter gels have some large chunky plates in those but those are all going to allow the transmission of light through that plate and as a result we get curing through that but if it's an opaque plate of glitter getting transmission through it is a lot more difficult. Therefore, if you do put down a flat, opaque plate of glitter, making sure that it goes on top of a sticky layer so you minimize the amount of uncured gel underneath it is important. Hopefully you've answer, I've answered those questions. If you have any other questions, please let us know. Jim McConnell, McConnell Labs, manufacturers of Light Elegance gel nail products here from Redmond, Oregon. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.